Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the boot seal retaining ring in your LG washer, you will need needle nose pliers, spring removal tool, impact driver, quarter inch extension with ratchet adapter, 10 millimeter socket, and a drill driver with a Phillips bit. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the washer and turn off the water supply. Pull the washer away from the wall. Unthread the two screws on the top panel. Slide and lift the top panel off. Unthread the screw securing the right side of the control panel. Open the drawer and push down on the push tab and remove the detergent disassembly. Unthread the two screws that secure the left side of the control panel. Pry the three tabs, then pull back and lift up to free the control panel. Unplug the harness to the control panel. Unclip the drain hose, then unthread the two Phillips screws. Pull out the case. Unthread the screw underneath the drain pump cleanout. Insert the spring tool on either end of the spring and pull to remove the ring. Detach the boot seal from the front panel. Unthread the six screws on the front panel. Push the panel down to release it from the tab. Unplug the door lock from the harness. Lift the front panel up and away from the washer. Unthread the eight 10 millimeter bolts on the tub and remove the weights. Slide back the tension clamp on the inlet hose and disconnect it. Slide back the pinch clamp on the drain port and disconnect it. Now note the orientation of the connector nozzle and remove it from the seal.
slide the tension clamp back on the seal port and disconnect it. Use the spring removal tool or needle nose pliers to remove the retaining ring. To install the new boot seal retaining ring, separate the spring from the retaining ring and wrap the ring around the boot, tucking the ring in the bottom of the boot seal groove. Connect the end of the ring with the spring. Use the spring tool to extend the spring and tuck in both sides of the retaining ring into the seal's groove. Attach the hose to the seal port and secure it with the clamp. Install the connector nozzle into the seal ports. Attach the drain port onto the tub, then secure it with the pinch clamp. Attach the inlet hose to the drain pump and secure it with the clamp. Now place the weights on the tub and re-thread the eight bolts. Set the panel on the three tabs and plug in the harness. Push the panel upright and lock it in place with the tab. Rethread the six screws into the panel. Rethread the screw into the drain pump. 
Feed the drain hose through the case and place in the washer. Rethread the two Phillips screws and clip in the drain hose. Tuck the boot seal into the front panel. Tuck the ring into the seal starting at the top. Use the spring tool to extend the spring and tuck in both sides of the retaining ring into the seal's groove. Plug the wire harness back into the display board. Insert the control panel into its grooves and push forward to snap in place. Rethread the two screws on the left side of the control panel. Align the detergent assembly and push in until it snaps into place. Rethread the screw on the right side of the control panel. Set and slide the top panel onto the washer. Rethread the two screws onto the panel. Push the washer back into place. Plug in the power. Turn on the water supply. And your washer should be ready for use.